Let's look at physical properties of organic compounds. Physical properties include melting point, the temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid, boiling point, the temperature at which a liquid becomes a gas, and density, which is mass per unit volume. We'll be looking mainly at boiling point in this uh, video. Okay, let's talk about volatility. So what is volatility? Volatility is how easily a substance becomes a gas. That means how easily it vaporizes. Vaporize means it becomes a vapor, which is a gas. Okay, so we're going from liquid to a gas. High volatility means that the substance will vaporize at a low temperature, which means a low boiling point. BP is boiling point. A low volatility means that the substance will vaporize at a higher temperature or a higher boiling point. Now here's an example. Perfume is sprayed on the skin and because your body is hot, okay, and because perfume is a volatile substance, okay, it has a high volatility, it will basically evaporate at the temperature of your body, which is why other people can smell the perfume that you're wearing. Let's look at some factors that affect volatility of organic compounds. The first one here is molecular mass or molar mass. And if you remember, we calculate that by adding up the mass of each atom in a compound. Okay? So here we have two organic compounds you should be able to name them. On the left here is methane, it's an alkane. On the right here is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbon atoms, which is octane. Okay? So, methane on the left boils at negative <clears throat> 169 degrees centigrade, which is very low. Octane on the right boils at 125 degrees centigrade. So obviously methane boils at a very low temperature, octane boils at a much higher temperature. So what's the reason for that? Well, octane has a higher molecular mass. Therefore, it has stronger van der Waals forces, okay? Which means it has a higher boiling point. Okay? So high molecular mass equals high boiling point. The second factor is branching of the side chains. So here we have two alkanes. On the left we have pentane. On the right we have 2,2-dimethylpropane. They both have the same number of carbon atoms. They have the same molecular formula. So they are isomers of each other. Okay? They have different structural formulas, so they are isomers, and they're isomers of C5H12. So, branched isomers cannot get close to each other because they have branches, okay? Or side chains, you could say. Therefore, they have weaker van der Waals forces, they have a lower boiling point, and they are more volatile, okay? So this on the right here, 2,2-dimethylpropane, has a lower boiling point and it's more volatile. It has a, a, it has a higher volatility, okay? Because of these branches here, okay? The molecules cannot get close together, which equals weaker van der Waals forces. Okay, and the last one is functional groups. Polar functional groups such as aldehydes and ketones have dipole-dipole attractions between molecules. You may remember if you have a polar molecule, one side is a little bit positive, one side is a little bit negative, and you get an attraction called a dipole-dipole attraction. Organic compounds that have hydrogen bonding, such as alcohols, they have an OH group, and carboxylic acids also have an OH group, can form hydrogen bonds between molecules. The third point, stronger intermolecular forces between molecules means a higher boiling point and lower volatility. 
So let's look at an example here. We have ethanol on the left, propane on the right. The molecular mass is about the same. Ethanol has a molecular mass of 46. Propane has a molecular mass of 44. Okay? Now, propane boils at negative 42 degrees C and ethanol boils at 78 degrees C. So why is the boiling point of ethanol so much higher than that of propane? Well, if you look at the functional group, ethanol has an OH group. Okay, If you have a hydrogen bonded to an oxygen, then the ethanol molecules can form hydrogen bonds. And as we know, hydrogen bonds are the strongest type of intermolecular force which gives it a higher boiling point. Okay, So here it says ethanol is an alcohol, it has an OH group and it can form hydrogen bonds between its molecules and that gives it a much higher boiling point than something with a similar molecular mass. Okay, But obviously propane doesn't have hydrogen bonding, it only has van der Waals forces.